Hello everyone today i am going to teach you how we can create react native module and we will also see how we can send and receive data with native code basically i am going to fetch some device information into our native code and we will access those variables into our react native code so let's start this is react native scratch project now open this ios folder into xcode and then in the project we will create one file uh, swift file and then click on this next button and then write the class name so the class name would be my device info you can take any name and then click on this create bridging header option then you will see two uh, files generated and uh, in the my device info file now i am going to import react here okay after this we will create the class so the class name would be my device info okay and uh, just inherit ns object and inside this we will take one function uh, get, get device info we will create this uh, method and so uh, our method and classes we have written here and inside method we are passing message and promises okay so in the promises as we know that we have resolve and reject and in the resolve we are passing uh, this device info and in the device info we are fetching some device information like model system name system version and all okay but we cannot uh, access this method and classes directly okay uh, from our react native code so we will have to expose this uh, with the help of objective c so just write objective c before this class and then pass the class name here and before this function we will have to we will also have to uh, use objective c to expose this now i am going to open this uh, my ios native bridging header file and then import these two things rtc uh, rct bridging module and event emitter okay so now i am going to create one more file that would be objective c file and then uh, click on next and then write the name of the of this class so the name would be same as our swift file class name now we will have to import three things here foundation rct rct bridging module and event emitter and after this we will take one interface here and inside this we will use rct extern module and we will ha have to pass class name here okay swift file class name which we have recently created this name okay and after this we will use rct event emitter okay and uh, now okay so inside this class we have a method so just write rct extern method and then uh, this is the method name get device info and we are passing this promises okay so now so this is the first parameter okay and uh, this is the method name and here i am passing this method name inside this extern method and then and then we are passing message here you can see and in the second parameter we are using resolve so with the help of this uh, resolve uh we are sending the data to the react native okay and this is the reject if you will get any type of error then you can assign any error okay so our all classes swift classes uh, I, uh, we have completed successfully I, now i am going to work on react native code so just import native modules uh, with the help of react native and then take one state here device info a set device info and then create one method face device info and then call inside this use effect uh, so it will execute when the application will run okay and here i am using this native modules to uh, access that class swift class which we have recently created into our native code and uh, okay so with the help of this net native module uh, we will access the class okay 
सो दिस इज द क्लास नेम माई डिवाइस इन्फो वी एंड इन साइड दिस वी हैव अ फंक्शन दैट इज गेट डिवाइस इन्फो ओके सो दिस इज द क्लास नेम एंड दिस इज द मैथड नेम गेट डिवाइस इन्फो सो आफ्टर दिस वी आर एक्सेसिंग एक्सेसिंग दिस गेट डिवाइस इन्फो एंड इन साइड दिस मैथड वी हैव टू पास द मैसेज सो वी आर पासिंग द मैसेज एज हेलो अमीर राही एंड वी आर कंसोलिंग दिस एंड वी आर पासिंग दिस रिजल्ट इन टू सेट डिवाइस इन्फो सो विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस डिवाइस इन्फो वी विल फेच ऑल द डेटा विच इज़ कमिंग फ्रॉम नेटिव कोड नेटिव आई एस कोड सो हेयर वी विल शो ऑल द पैरामीटर्स लाइक प्लेटफॉर्म मॉडल सिस्टम नेम सिस्टम वर्जन मैसेज विच वी आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम नेटिव कोड ओके सो here you can see we are passing these all variables okay and now i am going to run this project so just write uh, npx react native run ios into terminal so you will see our application is uh, running okay so now you can see our application is launched and you can see platform model system name system version message is there okay we are successfully fetching these all just change the message and uh, i am going to change whether it is working or not correctly so again i am changing this like hello akhil kumar and then you can see here so yeah this is changing okay 